What's up guys? It is me Dazzling Simmer and welcome back to another video on my channel. So lately I've been getting lots of questions on where I get my CC, where do I CC shop, how do I CC shop, how do I have so much CC and that is exactly what I'm going to share with you guys today. So it is basically a routine, it's a routine I do almost every single day and that is how I get so much CC and that is how I keep up to date with everything. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So as you can see, we are on my Tumblr dashboard right now. This is me, this is my account. And basically what I did to get started was that I followed a bunch of other blogs that had custom content for The Sims 4. So as you can see, this is something that I just reblogged. I don't know how I missed this hair, but oh my god, I need it in my existence. So that's what I did. But I basically started following a bunch, a bunch of blogs that either made CC themselves or reblogged CC so that um, everything would come on my dashboard and I would be able to download it. So this is basically what I do. I literally scroll through my dashboard looking for things I might like and things like this are really handy. For example, this page, Sims 4 CC the best, because it basically gives like a summary of all CC that has been released. So it's really handy to follow like, um, how do I say that? Like an overall blog that tries to reblog everything so you can keep up to date as well. And then I also follow some creators like Kenzar Sims, who I love. And I literally just start scrolling through my dashboard looking for stuff. Um, this way, what I really love about this technique is that I don't have to actually visit the individual pages. Like I see some people CC shopping and they go to all different websites and they have like 20 tabs open and I would just go crazy because, oh I like that, <laughs> I would just go crazy because um, I can deal with that amount of stress. Like I have like 10 tabs open right now and I cannot. But anyways, what I do is I scroll through my dashboard and whenever I see something I like, like this beautiful hair, I just reblog it. That's it. I reblog it and I come back to it later. I don't download it straight away. I just reblog it for later and that's pretty much what I do. So I just keep scrolling and scrolling until I... Oh my... Is this The Sims? Holy crap. That's super detailed. <laughs> Anyways, I just keep scrolling and scrolling until I get to the point where I see something and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I already have this so that I know that I've reached a point of things that I already downloaded. And then what I do is I go to my actual Tumblr. So we are here right now. I'm just going to refresh the page for a second. And as you can see, the thing I just downloaded is right here and that's when I actually download it. So I go down, I haven't downloaded this, so I would download that. And I just keep going down and downloading all the things I reblog. And that's when I usually make like the CC showcases or when I make a sim with certain CC that I downloaded. And that's pretty much like my tactic as to how I get so much CC and how I found it all and how I download it and that's just what I do. So what I did was follow a bunch of blogs and then just reblog, reblog, reblog and download, download, download until I was the addicted fucker I am right to this day. Anyways, so um, now that I've told you how I do that, I figured why not combine this with like my 10 favorite blogs so that you guys, if you want to start a CC blog, you know, you guys have a little head start, you know who to follow first. It's like I'm going to show you my top 10 recommendations of blogs I would definitely not want to miss out on. So we are starting off, there's no like order in this, I love them all equally. It's just the order that they are in right now and we're going through it. First of all is Volatile Sims. I love her Tumblr. Oh, by the way, all these links will be in the description as well. So you can go ahead and visit them, follow them and, you know, start your own CC blogging. Um, but I absolutely love this girl. She makes beautiful CC. Let me just actually show you some of it. She has like some off shoulder tops right here. She has like some beautiful pattern top tops. Wow. Tops and oh, look at this. Isn't this so pretty? 
to just overall make some really really great CC and what I love about hers is that it's really like it sounds really weird but it looks so 3D and realistic I don't know I can't even really explain it but I just really love the details in it and I don't know the flowiness of it I can't I can't really describe it um, up next is Leah Lilith, who you probably already know from The Sims Resource, which is also really handy because most artists on The Sims Resource also have a Tumblr on which they share their custom content. So sometimes they even post their custom content on Tumblr before uploading them to The Sims Resource. So you can always kind of be ahead of things and be special and I don't know, I just love that little detail. And also, it gives you the chance to not have to check The Sims resource every day. You can just go through your dashboard and if Leah Lilith, Leah Lilith <laughs> uploaded something, you can just find it right over there. So that's one thing I really like. So yeah, you can see all the hair she created right here and you can download them and it's just as easy as The Sims resource and it just saves you a lot of time. So that's something I really, really, really love. Up next is Trilike. I never know how to pronounce her name, but something like that. You can see her right here. And um, she actually makes the most beautiful bodysuits. Let me see if I can find some. She also makes beautiful clothing, but I especially love her bodysuits. Look at that. She makes such pretty lace bodysuits. Oh my god. And also this one I love so much with the... I get, It's like satin. Yeah, it's satin. I love it. And some floral things. And overall, I do think her um, creations are a little bit more on the Maxis match side. So if you're into that, definitely go ahead and follow her. It's like, I feel like it's kind of in between. It's like a mix between Alpha and Maxis match. So you can kind of use it for both. So that's something I really love. And look at how pretty this is. Mm, spice up your game, girls. Spice up your game. <laughs> up next is a Fiddler Universe who is actually... I don't know if it's a new creator, but I hadn't heard about this creator since I think a few weeks ago. But they make amazing custom content. If you're kind of like into fashion and everything, this is definitely a creator you should follow. Um, for example, these earrings, I talked about these in my last Alpha CC showcase. And um, look at that dress, guys. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And this one too, I absolutely love it. A great bodysuit as well. And then this collection literally fuels my existence because, oh my god, it has flowers. And you guys know I have been obsessed with these. But this collection is absolutely amazing, especially these jackets. I use them on almost all of my sims. The skirts are amazing. The tops are amazing. Just download it. It was a pain in the ass to download this collection though because it had like eight different links and they both, well, they all had double ad fly. So it, it was a killer. <laughs> um, but then I figured out they also had this hair and oh my God, I didn't even know they made hair and I just love it. And this is the Savage collection again. Oh, oh yes, girl. Mm. And all in all, ooh, eyebrows as well. Anyways, I have a lot of exploring to do regards to this creator, but I just absolutely love them and you should totally go ahead and add this creator to your collection of CC creators so you can become a crazy person just like me. Up next is Fashion Royalty Sims, who you also might know from The Sims Resource, but they make the most amazing makeup, in my opinion. They have amazing eyes as well and skin tones. Oh my lord, have my soul. <laughs> I didn't know what to say there, but ha, that worked out pretty nicely. So let me just show you some of the things they have. They have amazingly detailed lipsticks. Like, look at that. I absolutely love the look of all of their lipsticks. So if you're going to add a creator to your collection to um, add on your makeup CC, this should definitely be one of them because it's amazing. You can't have custom content makeup without adding fashion royalty sims to your collection. Also, eyes and skin tones, absolutely amazing. Oh my god, look at these brown tones. I love them. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, up next is a Serenity CC, who also makes amazing custom content. Let me just show you some to demonstrate. Look at that. Amazing top here, amazing dress, and I just can't. 
Yep, this skirt also, I talked about this in the Alpha CC Showcase and I absolutely love it. This jacket as well, I wanted to talk about that sooner, but I couldn't find the time, but mm, yes. Um, oh my god, also these flare jeans. I just love pretty much everything they make and there's also different categories of course and they make maxes match so there's pretty much something for everyone here. Up next is Savage Sims and oh my god this creator I think would be one of my top favorites because literally everything she releases I become obsessed with. Let me just show you. This is the new collection actually, which is by Savage Sims and Simpliciati, who I will talk about in a second. But it is amazing and guys, these jeans on your Sims make their booty pop like crazy. You need these jeans in your life. Oh my god, I have never seen my Sims booty pop that hard. Oh my god. Um, then she also makes some Sims, by the way, who look super authentic, which I love. Um, Salim Benali got like a crazy ass makeover. Look at him. Oh my god. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Then the Thrash collection. Oh my god. I keep saying oh my god, but I just love everything about it. These jeans, I use them all the time. Um, these eyes, the blunt collection. This one, oh my god, the skirts are amazing and the jackets as well. Flogger eyes, magnum lips, daddy collection. She also has some great CC for male sims, which, you know, we are all looking for. We are like all scavenging the internet for male CC and it's nowhere to be found. But Savage Sims is definitely a recommendation. Um, and yeah, I just literally everything she releases, I become obsessed with. So if you would have to add one creator to the list, it would definitely be Savage Sims. Then I just talked about it a little bit, but Simpliciati, who I am obsessed with as well, has recently been making amazing hair retextures, like this one we just reblogged, and this skirt, oh my god, I absolutely love this. I haven't downloaded it yet, but oh my god, so creative as well. This hair, look at that, and the sim as well. How do you make such beautiful models? I cannot. This is the, um, the collection with Savage Sims that we just talked about. And oh my god, they even have eyebrows, guys. Freaking eyebrows. And they look amazing as well. Then this hair. We talked about this in the Alpha CC Showcase. Some tops. Literally everything you could have been looking for is right here on this blog. Up next is Praline Sims, who we all know, again, from the Sims resource. But they actually really have amazing custom content on their Tumblr as well where they usually share things a few days before or on the same day as they do on the sims resource but as i just said it just saves you that little bit of extra time of having to go through tumblr first and then the sims resource because you literally have it all right here so as you can see they make amazing skins and amazing makeup and amazing accessories so that are the three main things i would recommend pranane sims for Overall, amazing custom content, amazing uh, detail in everything, and just an overall amazing creator. And last but not least is also a newer creator, I believe. And I actually talked about her in the Alpha CC Showcase. But I just wanted to give her another shout out right here, right now. Because I've been dying over her recolors. She makes the most amazing recolors of existing hairs. And look at that. I love how she adds like a darker root and then the lighter hair. And it just overall, I love the color she does. And she has done so many already. So if you want to spice up the hairs you already have, definitely go ahead and check out Eveline Sims. Look at that. Also this hair and this hair and this hair. Oh my god. And she actually made a top as well, which we also talked about in my Alpha CC Showcase. And it has some great patterns. And overall, she's an amazing artist and she's upcoming. So go ahead and follow her. Give her some love. Download her shiz. And yeah, that was about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed because I enjoy CC a lot, as you might have noticed. So yeah, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed as well. And if you learned something from this video. And yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, don't don't forget to do that as well and I will see you guys in the next video. Alrighty guys, bye bye!